Let us now look at a typical question from one of the earlier SSC CGL examples and this is going to be our example number 4. The question here is, a man standing in one corner of a square football field observes that the angle subtended by a pole in the corner just diagonally opposite to this corner is 60 degrees. Alright, so try to get the point very clear here. A man is standing in one corner of a square football field, right? The football field is square in shape. Now he observes that the angle subtended by a pole in the corner just diagonally opposite to this corner. Now he is standing at one corner, right? And the pole is in the diagonally opposite corner, okay? And the angle subtended by that pole which is in the diagonally opposite corner is 60 degrees, alright? Now when he retires 80 meters from the corner, right? He is retiring 80 meters from the corner along the same straight line. Now, you know what, what actually retire implies in this context here? He is moving back, right? He is retiring, right? He is coming back, okay? So 80 meters from the corner in the same straight line of that uh, diagonally opposite pole, right? Then he finds that the angle is 60, uh, 30 degrees now. The angle of elevation is 30 degrees. So what is the length of the field? What is the length of the field is the question here. So let's let's draw the diagram. I think the diagram here would play a very uh, important role, a key role in uh, our solution for this question. So let us consider a square field, right? Let's say this is the square field. Okay, this is the square field of side A. The si size of the side is A. Okay, now what it says, a man is standing in one corner of a square football field, right? Let's assume this is the corner where the man is standing, right? The man M is standing at this corner. Observe that the angle subtended by a pole in the corner just diagonally opposite. Now what's the diagonally opposite corner? This one, alright? Diagonally opposite corner is this one. So this is the uh, corner where we have a pole, right? The pole is at this corner. Now the angle subtended by this pole is 60 degrees. Now if, if you observe this is like a 3D diagram which I am trying to draw on the board. So uh, may not be very comfortable for all of you but you need to just have that visualization power and understand how the diagram looks like. Now there is a pole. If you, if you really look at it the pole would be in this position, right? Let's say this is the pole. If you are looking at the top view, right? The top view of the field. So square field and there is a pole. Now the angle subtended by this pole at this point, right, is 60 degrees. Okay, here angle is 60 degrees. But when the man moves backwards, the angle becomes 30 degrees. Are you able to follow? If he retires 60 degrees, so this is the diagonal here, right? This is the diagonal. Now when he retires 80 meters in the same straight line, right? So let's say uh, this is his initial position. The new position is M dash, right? The new position is M dash. And the distance between the two positions of the man is 80 degrees. Initial position is M, the new position is M dash. So what happens actually, the pole is here at this point. The angle subtended by the pole at M is 60 degrees. But the angle subtended by at M dash, by the pole at M dash is 30 degrees. Are you able to follow? So, I mean, to give a 3D view, let's let's consider the pole as, I mean, of course, we cannot draw a vertical pole here. Uh, but let's, let's say the pole is like this, right? This is the pole. Not, the pole is vertical, of course, but this is like a 3D diagram. So, the angle subtended by the pole, uh, you know, at this point will be 60 degrees. 60 degrees, right? Initially the angle is 60 degrees. Now when we consider this, this triangle, right? When we meet M dash, the angle subtended is 30 degrees. Are you able to follow? Now let's say this is the top of the pole, T. Right? So P and top of the pole. So this is the pole, angle subtended at M, 60 degrees, angle subtended at M dash, 30 degrees. And let's, let's assume this length, right? Uh, this diagonal of the square field is D. Alright, the side is A and the diagonal is D. Now here we have got two triangles, right? Two right angle triangles. What is the right angle here? This is the right angle. If you observe this pole with the ground will be at right angle. This angle is 90 degrees. Alright, the pole with the ground will be at 90 degrees. Fine. So if you look at the triangle PMT, right? Or PTM, the triangle PTM, the theta is 60 degrees, right? Let's say the length of the pole is L. The length of the pole here is L. Okay, length of the pole is L, theta is 60 degrees and the diagonal is D, right? The distance between M and P, which is the diagonal of the square is D. So from triangle, right, in triangle, what is this triangle? MPT, MPT, we can say tan 60, right? Tan 60 degrees. Tan 60 degrees will be opposite. Now what is opposite? Observe. Opposite is the length of the pole, right? Opposite is length of the pole L and the adjacent is D. This is the hypotenuse. MT is the hypotenuse. 
PT is the perpendicular, right? The opposite. And PM is the uh, base, right? Of the right angle triangle. So we can say tan 60 opposite by adjacent will be equal to L by D. L by D, right? Which implies, uh, what is tan 60? Root 3. Root 3 equals to L by D. Or we can say L is equal to root 3 D. Alright, so that's one equation that we have got. Now let's consider the second triangle here. What is the second triangle? M dash P and T. Right? Again, angle P makes, I mean the angle uh, P is 90 degrees. Right? The pole with the ground is 90 degrees. Now in triangle M dash P T. Right? In the triangle M dash P T. What do we see? The angle of elevation is 30 degrees. Right? 30 degrees. Again consider the tan of the angle there. Tan 30 degrees. Right, tan 30 degrees. What will be tan 30 opposite? Opposite again is L. All right. Now comes the adjacent. What is the adjacent? This line. Now what is this length? 80 plus D. Right, 80 plus D. Initially it was only D when we looked at the point M. But when we are looking at uh, the pole from the point M dash, it will be 80 plus D. Right. He has retired back by 80 meters. So we can say this will be L by 80 plus D. 80 plus D. Now, tan 30 degrees we all know is 1 by root 3. So, 1 by root 3 equals to L by 80 plus D. So, from this we can say L is equal to uh, 80 plus D by root 3. So, basically we have got two equations. Equation number 1 is L equals to root 3 D and equation 2 is equal to, uh, L, I mean L equals to 80 plus D by root 3. Two equations in two variables. What are the two variables? L, which is the length of the pole and D, the diagonal of the square pole. We can solve these two equations and find out the values here. What is required by the way? We, we need to find out what is the length of the field, right? Understand, length of the field is A. This is a square field. So all the sides are equal, right? So we need to find out A. A is equal to what is the question? To find out A, we must know what is D. Once we know the diagonal of the square field, we can find out the side of the square field, here, right? So let's try and find out what is the diagonal D here, okay? Now from these two equations, L equals to root 3D, and L equals to 80 plus D by root 3, we can say that root 3 D equals to 80 plus D by root 3 because both are L and L, right? So from these two equations, we come to a conclusion that root 3 into D will be equal to 80 plus D by root 3. Basically solving the two equations, right? This is L, this also is L. So we can equate both the right hand sides here. So simplify this, what is D here? See root 3 into root 3 D will be equal to 3 D. 3 D equals to 80 plus D. When we take D to the other side, we get 3D minus D. 2D equals to 80. If 2D is 80, D will be equal to 40. So the diagonal is 40 meters, right? The diagonal of the square field is 40 meters. But the question says length of the field. Length of the field is A. Now we know that diagonal of the square field, D, will be equal to root 2 times A. Right? This is a standard uh, formula. Diagonal of a square will be root 2 times its side, root 2a, right? We have learned this in the topic of mensuration. You can refer uh, the topic for this formula, okay? So diagonal of the square field is equal to root 2 times a. We already know what d is. We can say 40 equals to root 2a. Or from this, a will be equal to 40 by root 2, 40 by root 2 meters. That's our answer, right? So length of the square field will be 40 by root 2. If further simplification is required, 40 can be taken as 20 into 2. 20 into 2 by root 2 will be 20 root 2. So we can also say that A is equal to 20 root 2 meters. And if the answer is required in terms of, you know, uh, decimal value there, right? Proper answer there. If you have to avoid this root 2, what do we do? Root 2 can be approximately taken as 1.414. So 20 into 1.414. That will be 28.28 meters, right? So I think uh, that's the answer for the question. 20 root 2 meters is the length of the field. So as you have seen here, the question is quite similar to what we have done in example number 3, right? There are two right angle triangles, one with D and then when we move backwards by 80 meters, it will be uh, 80 plus D. The base is changing here, right? And accordingly the angles of elevations are changing, 60 degrees and 30 degrees. And there is a pole of length L. The only difference here is, since the question is, you know, given in terms of a, a square field, man standing at one of the corners, diagonally opposite corner there is a pole, then it retires back by 80 meters, it looks to be complicated, right? But as such, the solution is no different from what we have done in the uh, earlier example there. So I think it's, it's all about your visualization. If you can draw the diagram properly, if you can visualize the diagram properly, you will be able to answer such questions easily. Because if, if you look at the number of steps, we have only two steps. One equation in terms of tan 60, the second equation in terms of tan 30. Solve the two equations, two variables and we will get the required answer. And this was made uh, a little more complicated or I would say a little more time consuming uh, because of 
the question being length of the field. If the question says what is the diagonal D, we have the answer ready made here, 40 meters. But since we need length of the field, there is one additional step, right? Diagonal equals to root 2 times the side. However, it's, it's all about applying your knowledge of trigonometry and drawing the proper diagram here to arrive at the required answer.